Hi, in this video, we are going to see how we can use OCR. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition to extract content out of a financial document. And the document that we are going to use is income statement. Income statement are typically published by uh, listed companies in stock exchanges. Uh, to uh, to the public, right? So that uh, the public know the health of the company, how the company is doing. So we are going to use that document and do OCR. Now, this can be any document that is relevant to your industry or even the financial sector or non-financial sector. I'm just giving this as an example, but you can use the technique which I have given to almost use with any documents uh, to the maximum extent. See, any OCR system might not have the perfect 100% accuracy, but what we can do is we can tune some hyperparameters and get close to whatever is possible for the document. Right. So let's get started. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Easy OCR, uh, which is a tool which is a neural network based uh, ext OCR extraction tool that is available in the open source world. So I'm just going to do a pip install of it. In fact, I've already installed it and I'm going to download an image from the internet in this case. So I'm just doing a wget and I'm downloading it. I'll show what that image is. Uh, before that, well, first thing I want to do is I am importing Easy OCR and I am setting the reader object, right? That is the Easy OCR dot reader to English, right? Think uh, Easy OCR supports a lot of language. It supports Tha, it supports Chinese, it supports even Devangri language, which is a pretty old Indian language, and there are a lot of other language it supports. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to use English and let me run this and let me use pill to visualize uh, the, uh, the output of the image, whatever I have downloaded. So what I'm doing is basically I'm using importing pill. I'm importing image draw. The image draw I will use later to draw the bounding box of the extracted text. And I am telling that pill dot open and I'm just uh, going to run it. Now on the top, what it is doing is it is downloading the models, uh, both detection and recognition model. It will take some time. Uh, the other thing is easy OCR can make use of GPUs. So in case if you have GPUs, uh, allow, uh, get to a GPU environment, it will be way faster when you are extracting large documents. So this is how the document looks like. As I said, it's an income statement. You have the revenue of a company, you have an expenses of the company, which each of the header you will within revenue will have what is the sales revenue, what is the other revenue, and all the information in the income statement. And finally, you will have like, what is the net income the company has earned. So this is how the document looks like. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to add any hyperparameter. I'm just going to run it as it is. So I am the reader object I'm going to create on top. I am using the read text and I'm passing that particular JPEG image and I'm just printing the output of it, right? So once I print the output, you can see like uh, all the extracted content and value. So let's quickly go through and see how it performed. If you see over here, it is net income, but it uh, but it uh, recognized as met IICOME. Similarly, the less income tax, this is fine. And you see the net income is not correct here as well, right? Let us let me go further on the top. Uh, so let me quickly see over here. If you see the web hosting, it is recognized as a 5U0. Uh, utilities is 0G0. If I go to on the top of the image, you can see basically this net income, this net income. The utilities is 7,000. Uh, the web hosting is 500. It, it recognizes 5U0. Utilities, it was no, no, not even close. So basically, if you see, it has done some extraction. In some cases, it is fine. But in some cases, the extraction has not been uh, that great. All right. So what we are going to do is we are going to see like if we can make it better, but by setting some hyperparameters. So let me get to the next one. So let me also we are, I can use this function to draw an bounding box on where all it has found uh, uh, found like content and where it has extracted. Right. So I am using like a method called draw box. I am using image draw, which is a pill function to draw the bounding box, which I am uh, printing over here. Let me pr let me print the image and let's see the image. So if you see this image. Uh, it has it has kind of like uh, wherever there is content has done a bounding box, but in some cases the bounding box is correct, uh, but the extraction is not correct. Take in this example net income, it has but it has met IICOME right utilities and telephone charges and web hosting. Even though web hosting it has detected 500, it has it has detected 5 U0 7500 and 2000. Basically, it has not considered the two and seven. So there have been some inconsistency in the output. So what I'm 
going to do is I'm going to set some hyper parameters, right? Set some parameters rather. So I'm using the same reader dot read text. What I'm doing is I'm setting the contrast threshold, right? In this case, it's not required, but a contrast, typically a lot of documents will not have a lot of clarity. So what I'm doing, I'm telling if my contrast threshold is a point not not for or less, then adjust the contrast. So it will by default adjust the contrast to 0.7%. That is one parameter I set. What I'm doing is I'm adding margins to the uh, uh, to the entire image. So what is this uh, margin is basically, what it will do is it will kind of I have given by default the margin it uses is 0.1. So when I say 0.5, it will extend each and every bounding box by the specified margin in all the directions. So in this case, two is not covered, seven is not covered. So it will try to extend extend the uh, margins in all the directions so that we can cover two and seven. And here the reason the net income is not created properly because the bounding box is too close. So it's considering n as m and the, this n as high. Right, that maybe there's some confusion. So if I can increase the width in all the directions a little, maybe maybe it does better, right? That's what I'm trying to do. Right. So after that, what I'm doing, I'm saying width threshold is 0 0.7. So what this width threshold does is if I have two consecutive bound bounding boxes, sometimes pretty close, suppose two is recognized separately and 500 is recognized separately, it will merge those bounding boxes. So that's that's why I'm setting the width threshold. So I have set this and also by default, the decoder um, that it uses is uh, different. So I'm using a beam search. What beam search is by default, it uses a greedy decoder. So what I'm doing is I'm using beam search, which will scan the document twice and then it will give a better probability. So that's why I'm using uh, beam search. There are three decoders, greedy, beam search and word beam search. I'm using beam search in this case. So now let me run the output with this particular content and see how it performs. So uh, while, while, while this is going on, yeah, now this is done, right? Now, if you see over here, let's go from the bottom. So the net income, if you really see it as uh, predicted properly, right? Uh, rather met IICOM, it has even here, the net income is proper, right? Let, uh, let me go further up. And let's see like how it performed. Now web hosting is one thing which we saw was not correct. It has predicted 500 properly, right? The utilities is still wrong. It is it is not predicting 7,000, it's 200. But um, again, this, this is predicted only 500 and now it's 2,500 for telephone. Right. So it has it has it has corrected a lot of his mistakes. Now we can further go and tune up the parameters or in some cases that is the maximum you can do. Right. Uh, you cannot do uh, more than what this tool can provide. Maybe you want to try a different tool, but at least you know, let's see the output, how the bounding boxes look like. But it has done a decent job when you compare to the previous default parameter. Now, if you see over here in the net income is the default box and I have added margin window on each of it. So now it is kind of able to increase the width of the bounding box and detect better in the case of net income and um, the other net income before tax. But when it comes to if you see like telephone and um, the, the the utilities and all, it has increased the bounding box. But still, like if you see over here, the telephone which did not or the all the utilities which did not come properly, it has not completely uh, increased the margin. So maybe you want to increase the margin by 0.45 to uh, 0.5 or 0.65 and try it out. But remember, like when your text very close sometimes you may at the margin the margins will get overlapped so in this document it's fine but you need to check in your real world document how it is right so that's about this easy oci it's a very handy tool it supports multiple language and it uses uh, kind of a neural network internally uh, to extract the ocr it may not be a, a very perfect when you compare to a lot of commercial products but if the document is good the the dpa of the document which is nothing but the the quality of the document that is scanned is good this is a very handy tool and give you can give you a lot of good accuracy in your ocr right. thank you very much